Hey, what's up there, everybody? This is Ableton Certified Trainer Thavius Beck, back with another course to talk about some of my favorite techniques when using Ableton Live 11. There's a lot of little improvements. Uh, some are more obvious, some are under the hood. But either way, when using Ableton Live 11, if you're a longtime user, you'll notice there's a handful of things that uh, allow your workflow to be a lot more efficient, more creative, uh, more intuitive, or just to allow for some happy accidents. So I'm gonna explore a few things that I personally like to utilize in Ableton Live 11 uh, that may just inspire you or uh, encourage you to explore some different ways to work, all right? One of the main things that I wanna talk about that'll kind of lead me into this whole uh, winding journey uh, are the improvements to racks, all right? In Ableton Live, uh, a rack is a container for numerous devices, and there's a handful of different racks that we can choose. There's the drum rack, which most of you are familiar with. Uh, there are instrument racks where we can have multiple instruments that are contained inside of one device. Uh, there's audio effect racks where we can combine multiple effects inside of one device and MIDI effect racks, which we can combine multiple MIDI effects into one device. We can also use these creatively and combine them. Uh, and the main things I wanna do is start off talking about how utilizing racks and some of the new features uh, allows me to start off from a different creative place and then do a lot of fun things with what those racks allow us to start off with. So uh, this should be a lot of fun and hopefully you'll enjoy the process as much as I enjoy showing it to you. So without further ado, let's take a look at some of the new additions to the racks.